Hello. Um, well, it's it's very nice to be joining you, and um, thank you for your time. I'm going to be talking about a phone application that Groundwater Relief has been developing that we're calling Water Data Rocks. Um, and I'd first of all like to acknowledge um, partners who've already supported uh, this um, initial pilot and venture, including Research England through Bristol University, the Ferguson Trust, Waterloo Foundation and H2H. The idea of Water Data Rocks is to uh, make more data available in data scarce regions that we're operating. And when I talk, talk about data, I'm talking about groundwater level and basic water quality data. 99% of all liquid fresh water is groundwater. Most surface water is derived from groundwater, either through springs or stream seepage. So monitoring groundwater levels is absolutely essential for us to understand resource availability and then to be able to manage uh, these uh, vulnerable systems potentially. However, in many of the places that we're working in, there's a huge scarcity of groundwater monitoring data, um, which is the purpose of why we've developed Water Data Rocks, which we hope will solve um, some of the issues by having a low cost option to build data in groundwater scarce regions, um, reduce the complexity of developing monitoring programs, make data more easily accessible and engage the data and engage data collection with water resource management authorities who might who are responsible for water resources in, in particular areas that we work. When we look at developing a groundwater monitoring network or program, there's a few different types of technological choice that we have. There's the manual uh, mechanism of collecting water level data using a dip meter such as the one um, shown on the left of the screen. Um, you can go down the um, uh, automated route uh, using a sensor such as the pressure transducer that will um, uh, collect automatically groundwater level information. Um, some automated programs would require then an individual to go to the water point um, to download the data from the sensor and the data logger. But other systems work telemetrically, meaning that the data is immediately sent through a, a local phone network to a, uh, a database in someone's computer somewhere. Um, Automated and telemetric um, monitoring systems still require manual measurements in order to calibrate uh, the equipment and also to check that it's functioning. And I should mention that Groundwater Relief has also developed a low cost water level monitoring device known as the Pocket Dipper in order to try and reduce costs of, of, of getting uh, monitoring information. Once manual monitoring programs are set up, the, the way that data is collected is that normally, traditionally, Somebody will go along with a dip meter, take a water level measurement, record the location, the time and the date, uh, go back to the field office, type that information up into an Excel spreadsheet somewhere, and then um, the following month, collect more information and then uh, update that spreadsheet. Over time, uh, a data set is hopefully developed within that spreadsheet. And if that data was wanted to be shared, then somebody would send that spreadsheet um, through an email or uh, passed over through a stick to somebody else. Trouble with this kind of methodology is that it's, it's, it's full of potential human error. And also if people move on from an organization, there is significant possibility of breaking this system. Um, the phone application approach, however, would enable the individual to collect a water level measurement in the field just the water level, and then the date, time, and location will be stamped immediately by the phone onto that data. Phone syncs immediately to an online database where uh, the data can be viewed through an online portal. If people leave a program, somebody else can simply download the app, go to the water point, collect that water level measurement, and affiliate to the organization, and that data will then upload still onto the database, online database. So it's far more secure and far less easy to break. Water Data Rocks is a free phone application to support the collection of groundwater level and basic water quality data. Data is downloaded directly onto the app from the field to a central data management cloud system. Users can affiliate with a specific organization 
on the app, thereby enabling different users to combine data into one organizational data set. We are working closely with authorities where we can to connect the online cloud-based database to a country uh, in-country um, groundwater monitoring database to enable any data being collected by the phone app in that particular country to contribute into the country archives. Data can be viewed and downloaded through an online portal or through the phone. We believe the phone app encourages citizen science approach to in collecting groundwater level data. It educates people about what's happening to the groundwater levels through uh, displaying data in friendly ways, uh, easy, easy to view ways. There's multiple angle, language options. And as I said, the app can be used offline. Certain functionalities, just to point out, you can mark your datum point on a photograph using the phone application in order that others will then know where you're collecting your water level from. There's help and guidance documentation on the phone app, and there's graphical displays of data that you're collecting. Um, all data collected is, is secured in the, in the on-cloud database. Um, and, and it might, as long as there's an, an agreement with an, a, a local water authority, it would also then be sent from that online cloud database to the local water authority's own country database. Users or affiliate organizations determine the data sharing level, except when there is an agreement in place with the local water authority, in which case, if somebody's using the app in that particular country, they'll automatically agree that that data will also be shared with the water authority um, as part of the license. Um, users can only view their own data uploaded or data made public by other users or affiliate organizations. The online portal functionality um, currently is limited in scope, but we have future plans to enable the development of tools uh, to enable users to interrogate the data through this online portal, including helping them to assess uh, their assets and how the water levels are functioning with those assets. The creation of drought warning systems, um, interactive graphs to enable viewing different data trends of the water levels and water quality data being collected, and comparing the water level data against other data sets, um, perhaps other water level data sets or, or remote sensing data sets. So far, we've spent about £38,500 on the development and pilot testing of the phone app. This year, we've secured another 16000 to invest in further trials and further development. And there are other funding um, um, uh, bids in progress. Our pilots have been undertaken in Sierra Leone, Kenya and Ethiopia so far. In Sierra Leone, our pilot was carried out in July and August of last year. Uh, and we did this with the National Water Resource Management Agency of Sierra Leone. Um, the point of the pilot was to test the app under field conditions train the NWRMA staff on how to use the app and obtain their feedback on the usefulness of the app on uh, their program. Um, we also wanted to link the data from the cloud server to the National Water Resource Management Agency in-country groundwater database and understand how community engagement could be achieved through the app. What we found with the pilot was some significant problems with connectivity and the synchronization of data that we've been addressing since the uh, pilot finished. There was also some large scale national barriers, such as a lack of phones in communities and a lack of electricity for really uh, going down the community engagement route initially. In between October and March this year, we've also been carrying out a pilot within the Horn of Africa with humanitarian action support funding. Um, we set up a pilot program in Kenya with the Water Project and a pilot program in Addis with the Ethiopian Environmental Health Professionals Association. Um, these monitoring points are currently uh, being uh, carried out once a month um, and the pilot is ongoing. Um, one of the take homes from this was that when we were setting up the monitoring points in Kenya, we had to install new access ports within wells to enable the water levels to be taken. But the cost of doing that was very, very cheap at about $30 per well. So setting up monitoring points and monitoring programs with a phone application doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive process. Right now, we have got a memorandum of understanding signed with the Ministry of Water and Environment in Yemen to support them with monitoring across Yemen. 
we've set up two monitoring programs so far with Solidarity International, International Organization for Migration, but we're now really looking for opportunities to expand, strengthen those monitoring programs and expand uh, the monitoring programs out to other vulnerable actors using phone application technology. So um, we are looking for some support. Um, we, we hope, I hope that this has been an informative talk. I hope you can see the, um, the phone application's potential role uh, within uh, the collection of monitoring data. And if it's at all of interest, please do not ha hesitate to contact myself or anyone else in our organization, the Groundwater Relief, um, to um, for further information or to perhaps explore opportunities of how we can engage the phone application in your own programs. Thank you very much.